Now at 5.30, a new school year and new concerns over student safety. In the aftermath of the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas, is the L.A. Unified School Police Force ready for an emergency? Well, CBS2 has learned there are even fewer school police officers this year. Many parents think fewer police means less safety for their students. CBS2 senior reporter Ross Palumbo spoke to the new superintendent and has the story you'll only see here on CBS2. Ross? Well, the new superintendent, Alberto Carvalho, tonight says he is looking into it. The cut of course began before he got there but now it is his watch a brand new start one which came though after a scary ending to the school year last year at LAUSD the face of fear seen again and again and again at Los Angeles schools and this last look during a lockdown in the last week of last year a 16 year old shot outside of Grant High School and they're just telling us to rush into a class one kid sending this parent a panic text mom it's a lockdown after school there was a shooting 300 feet away I'm in a class uh, it's been happening a lot the worst way to end high school especially not in my school place where I thought I was safe can you guarantee students will be safer this year than in years past? No, the sad thing is that we could not give guarantees. Summer did fly by. Good morning, welcome back. And this year there are even fewer guarantees. After dramatic cuts two years ago, cuts so severe, Police Chief Todd Chamberlain resigned. How many police officers do you have right now? We have currently around 300 officers with an additional 60 in a pipeline to be hired. So you have 300, uh, that's down from 374 under Chamberlain. Is it still going to be safe for students? Uh, we're going to do all that we can. The current interim LA school police chief says that number is actually even lower. We're about 230 strong. Is that enough police officers to protect the students? Well, I can tell you this, um, you know, yes. Uh, I think you have to understand that we have a different model. That service model includes removing permanently stationed officers from inside schools. Now they come to campus when called. I don't believe there's anything more rewarding than protecting children. Is that going to make the students less safe not to have the officers right there at all times? I don't, you know, I don't know if you can gauge it by um, what might be in somebody's mind. Welcome. They'll call school police and we will respond accordingly. After this fight at Crenshaw High School, where a parent allegedly attacked a student last year, police did respond accordingly. But officers themselves say not being there to begin with is a problem. This is a result of not having school police officers on campus. We used to have school police officers assigned here, a police car in front of the school to show that there was an officer on campus or two to make sure the kids were safe. It's a concern of theirs that they're not patrolling the schools directly anymore. Mm -hmm. Is that a concern of yours too? It is. And that's why I've charged uh, Chief Zipperman uh, with a complete review of protocols. Do you want to change that? Do you want police want, officers back in the schools? Here's what you get from a professional superintendent. I will follow the advice of law enforcement when it comes to law enforcement issues, when it what comes to protective. He's reviewing. He just, uh, he just arrived. That is so cute, isn't it? Have a great school year. The superintendent says there are already reduced points of entry, fortified perimeters, security cameras, partnerships with other police agencies, and a new digital app for rapid alerts. But the bottom line is you feel the schools are safe enough to open on Monday. Schools are the safest places for kids in our community. Do you feel it's safe enough for your daughter to go back to school? Oh, that's a, a crazy idea. Parents have learned that in today's crazy world, no place is perfectly safe. Of course, we're scared of all the shootings and everything now with kids. Yeah, it's, it's a big worry for us. Students this year. This is for you. Cloud. Are just hoping there are no real life lessons repeated from years gone by. Is it going to be in your head? Is safety yes. going to be a concern? Yes. Good morning, everybody. Would you like officers back on campus? Yes. Do you think it's necessary for you to feel safer? Very ways? much. Well, again, these cuts began in 2020. To gauge how this has all affected campus crime, we've been asking for the crime statistics the districts keeps 
For two weeks now, stats both the superintendent and the police chief said they would supply. In the interest of transparency, can you provide those numbers to us quickly? I, I don't know about the request, but Shannon uh, is right behind you. I will look into it and provide it to you. I'd be happy to provide any statistics that, we, that I currently have or we have available right now that um, have already been released. Whatever I have available already, we yeah. will certainly uh, be able to provide that to you. Well, tonight, some two weeks later, we have received very little. Just minutes ago, we did get some vague data showing that there were 803 crimes committed against people last school year. The year before, apparently, it was 54. But, of course, that was during the height of the pandemic. And without all of the data or knowing exactly what those crimes were, whether they were homicides or robberies or vandalism, we still don't have the full picture. When we finally get that detailed information that LAUSD has been providing us now for 14 days or promising us for 14 days, we will get it out to you. Yeah, we look forward to that, Ross. Yeah, look for that follow-up, right. yeah. Ross. Thank, thank you. you. Sure.